In other news, Mandera Governor Mohamed Eden Khalid has revealed that 60% of the county is under the control of Al-Shabaab militants. Mohamed says the presence of the militants has affected service delivery in various parts of the county. He spoke during a security meeting to find ways of dealing with Al-Shabaab insurgents in northeastern region. And as Ayub Abdi Kadu reports, the leaders called for concerted efforts in tackling the terrorism. The security meeting was attended by regional commissioners and county intelligence committee members from four counties that lie along the Kenya-Somalia border. Leaders from areas affected by terror attacks deliberated on the increased incidences of attacks by Al-Shabaab. The leadership of the counties of Mandera, Wajia, Garissa and Lamu said the meeting besides coming up with resolutions on how to counter Al-Shabaab called for community sensitization to weed out elements that support the terror outfit. So our coming together today is um, twofold. One, and meeting as a leadership to see what it is that we can do as the political leadership and the security teams in these counties to heighten sensitization. leaders area about safari. Mandela County Governor Mohamed Adan Khalif said his administration is unable to offer services to the public due to the Al-Shabaab presence in the county. Al-Shabaab presence and sightings are more than 60% of Mandela County. That, what that means is that we are no longer be able to go out of our headquarters to provide services to the people of uh, our, our counties. And Al-Shabaab is not the security force uh, security problem only for security forces al shabab is our problem the meeting comes against the backdrop of heightened al shabab activity that has targeted telecommunication masts and roads the leadership calling for support from the national government to fight the group we acknowledge the kenya somalia borderline community leadership group proposal calls for coordination, collaboration, and building trust amongst all. We welcome all like-minded leaders, regardless of party affiliations, towards a common agenda and united voice for the continued development and safety Northeastern Regional Commissioner John Otieno said community engagement is key to ending cross-border attacks by Al-Shabaab. All border counties are bordering Somalia, which is very unstable. And therefore, the infiltration of Al-Shabaab along our borderline is caused by the porous border. The meeting, which discussed the challenges posed by the terror group, was held in Wajia County, which is among the counties that share borderline with Somalia. <laughs>